Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can get Microsoft Office, which includes such popular programs like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint entirely for free on your iPhone or on your Android phone. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. In the past, you've always been able to get Word, Excel, or PowerPoint in either the Play Store or in the App Store. So what's changed? Well, a few months back, Microsoft announced the Office app. The Office app is now broadly available. You can now download it through the App Store and in the Play Store. And what the Office app does is it combines all three apps into one. What's the benefit of having one app? Well, first off, it saves a lot of space. In the past, if you were to download Word, Excel, and PowerPoint individually, it took about 800 megabytes. Now, with one app that combines all three of them, it takes about 350 megabytes. So you're saving a lot of space, and there are a lot of efficiencies there when you bring them all together. With the Office app, Microsoft also took the opportunity to re-envision what productivity looks like on mobile devices. In the past, with just Word, Excel, PowerPoint, they were very similar to their desktop counterpart, where you could go in, you could read a document, you could edit a document. You could still do that in the Office app, but what Microsoft has also done is they've thought about what are different scenarios that you might wanna do on your mobile device that you wouldn't necessarily do on your PC, and they've brought those into the Office app as well. And in a little bit, I'll show you what some of those are so you can see firsthand what you can do with the Office app. To get started, why don't we go ahead and get the Office app. In this example, I'm gonna be using my iPhone. If you have an Android phone, you could do this just the same. The app looks almost identical, uh, so you shouldn't notice too many differences. As a first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the app, and to do that on the iPhone, we're gonna go to the App Store. If you're on an Android phone, you're gonna go to the Play Store. So I'm gonna click into the App Store, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for Microsoft Office. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this in. Once I type in Microsoft Office, I'm gonna click on search and you'll see that the first option that comes up is Microsoft Office. It says Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. The fun thing that we're gonna jump into is what that more is. What I've done is I've already installed it. If you don't yet have this app on your phone, go ahead and install it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and click on open since I already have it. All right, so what's happened now is I'm in the Office app and I land within an experience called Home. You'll see on the bottom bar, uh, you have three options. You have Home, you have a Plus, and then you also have actions that you could take. We're gonna walk through each one so you can see what those are. On the Home screen, what you'll notice is I have my pinned documents at the top. If I scroll down, I have recent documents that I've worked on. And this is just a combination of all of my different Office documents. So I have Word documents, I have Excel spreadsheets, I have PowerPoint presentations. All of them show up within the Office app. As I said earlier, the Office app combines Word, Excel, and PowerPoint into one. So you get all of that right here within the Office app. Now what I really like about the Office app is they've really optimized it uh, for mobile readability. So here, anytime I'm going on a trip coming up, I have a travel list that I maintain in Word. So this way I don't forget anything that I need to bring on the trip. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. I'm going on a trip soon. And here you could see my Word document within the Office app and it's very easy to read. It's formatted very nicely for uh, this, uh, for my iPhone uh, display. Um, so there's just kind of the basic document and all the same functionality. So right now it's in read mode, but if I click on the little edit uh, symbol at the top of the screen, this brings me into edit mode. Here I have all the same rich functionality that I expect from Microsoft Word. I could highlight, I could change fonts. Here I'm gonna click on home. You have similar pivots to what you have in the desktop app where you could insert, you can draw, uh, you could adjust the layout, you could review. Uh, so there are all sorts of things that you could do in Word, but compared to the Word, Excel, PowerPoint apps that previously were available in the store and still are available in the store, uh, all that functionality is identical to what the individual apps could do. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump back to the home screen. And now that I'm on the home screen, what I also wanna show you is I could also navigate throughout my OneDrive folders. If I click on the folder icon in the top right-hand corner, 
uh, when I click on there, what that'll do is it'll allow me to navigate through all of my OneDrive folders. Uh, I can also add other locations if I want, uh, but here I can see all my different folders that I have uh, in my OneDrive account, and I could just navigate through them so I could get back to documents wherever they are. Um, so that way on the home screen, this is a view of my recent documents, but maybe there's a document that wasn't recent and I can navigate back to that uh, relatively easily. On the home screen as well, in the top right hand corner, I have the ability to search for documents. Uh, so if there's, let's say a document I'm looking for, um, I could easily pull that up. So let's see what I have here. Um, so if I type in, uh, let's say concatenate, that was a spreadsheet that I did for one of my YouTube videos. Uh, here it just pops up in the list and then I could open that document. So a very quick way to get back to any content uh, that you have stored in OneDrive. So that's a quick view at the, um, at the home experience. So pretty straightforward uh, experience right here. Uh, now this is where we start getting into some of the fun things. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this big plus button in the middle, and we're gonna just start from left to right. So I'll start with notes. Uh, this is kind of interesting. I could say, hey, maybe I'll just type in test uh, note, but you can take quick notes on your phone, and I'm gonna go ahead and just click on done. And if I go back to the home screen now, you'll see I have this view where I have all my notes that I've captured on my phone uh, and they just appear here right on the home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus again. And there's been an app called Office Lens. With the Office app, what they've done is it's now taken Office Lens into the Office app. So not only do you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but you're also getting Office Lens. And so what is Office Lens? This is an amazing program to take pictures of documents, whiteboards, uh, or even photos. And I wanna show an example here. Um, so I have a letter that I received in the mail and I wanna take a picture of this document. Um, so what you'll see is here, I'm gonna take a picture of the document. It's not, I'm not quite centered over it. And you see this box that identifies that there's a document there. So I'm just gonna go ahead, let's take a picture right here. And you'll notice that it does some processing now and look at that, how it lines up the document really in just a, a perfect configuration there. Um, and so that looks good. I'm gonna also click on filters here. And what I could do now is I could filter it. So just a black and white document. So it gets rid of kind of all that discoloration in the background. So it really looks like just kind of a perfect scan. Um, that looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. And what it did now is it created a document that's stored in my OneDrive. What I also wanna show is how you could take whiteboard photos with Office Lens, and that's very similar to the document experience right here, you'll see on the side of the screen. When I go to take a picture of the whiteboard, uh, it does a very nice job just cleaning it up, making the background look nice and bright and white. Um, so even with whiteboards, you really get a nice photo quality of that, but the Lens app um, integrated into the Office app really produces those very nice looking pictures of documents um, or whiteboards, and you can also take photos with it as well. Now the next thing that I wanna show is, let's click, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus icon again, and the third option here is called Documents. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and Documents encompasses Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and you'll see a few different options here. So with Word, uh, because I'm on a mobile device, uh, what they suggest is I could scan text, with Excel I could scan a table, and PowerPoint I could take pictures and start a presentation off of pictures. Um, and then I still have my option of creating a blank document and I also have the option of creating from a template. So I still have those actions that I'm used to, but it's a little more focused on kind of mobile usage where it's focused on scanning text. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's do an example with Word here. I'm gonna click on scan text. Um, here it brings up the scan view again and I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of the same document again uh, that I took as part of the lens example. And here what it's done now is it's taken the picture, it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take this text and it's gonna convert it into a Word document that I can then go ahead and edit. Um, so it's gonna do a little bit of processing here, but now it's opening a new document. And so I could click into the document and you'll see now that I could edit all of this text. Um, so it took this document that I just scanned and converted it into a document. So that's, that's actually really awesome. I love that functionality. Um, really, really cool how you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's go back to the main screen here. And what I also wanna show, so that's how you could create new content, whether blank or from existing content. Uh, what I wanna do now is let's look at the third view within here, and this is uh, called Actions. 
I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And you'll see now these are mobile optimized actions. And this is really the richness of the Office app. And the first one is uh, transfer files or share files. Uh, so let's go ahead and click into that and see what that does. It says go to transfer.office.com on the computer. And what I could do is I could very easily share documents between my computer and my phone or from my phone to my PC. So let's give this a try. Um, so here I am on my PC and I have a document called Winning Lottery Numbers for August 6th, 2020. So this is, a, this is kind of a nice document. I'm gonna make sure I play off those numbers coming up soon. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is let me open up a new, I'm gonna open up the Chrome browser here. And I'm gonna navigate to transfer office.com and what I want to do is I want to send this to my phone so I'm gonna go ahead and receive on the phone and so I get this QR code on my phone what I do is I'll, I'll hold up my phone to the screen so it copies the QR code um, it looks like it's reading it and now what it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, it's gonna pair my computer to my phone I'll go ahead and pair and go ahead and click on pair on my phone now what it says is select files to send to your phone I could either pull up a file picker here or I could drag files over so I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it over and now the file has been sent over to my phone you'll see it show up right here on my phone screen called winning lottery numbers I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and all of you could see what the winning lottery number is right there uh, just totally made up don't give that a try you'll probably waste money on a lottery ticket um, so there it is. You can very easily transfer files. I could also send a file back if I wanted to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, disconnect from my computer, and let's click back into Actions. Uh, what I can also do, so I already showed the example where you could take a picture of something, it'll convert it into text. I could also take a picture of, let's say, a table on a document and then convert that into a, a table within a spreadsheet that I could then edit. Um, so nice functionality there. Uh, what I also wanna show is the Office app goes very heavy into PDFs. So whether you wanna create a PDF, whether you wanna edit a PDF, um, or even sign a PDF. You know, you might be on the road and you have a contract you have to sign. So let me see um, if I have any contracts. Oh, here's a contract called Modeling Contract, uh, Needs Signature. Let's go, to, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so I clicked into this one. Um, here's a document and it says tap where you wish to sign. So I'll just tap down here and I've already entered my signature into the app. So now I could just select it and let me actually click on my signature. I'm just gonna go ahead and move that just a little bit there. And there I've signed the contract. I could also sign it other places, but once I'm good to go, I'm just gonna click on that check mark. Um, and now it's saved the PDF with my signature in it. And so the Office app very easily allows me to sign PDFs. Um, so very nice functionality there. Um, and the last thing that I wanna show is how I could take pictures and then convert those pictures into a PDF. So I'm just gonna pull it up. I have a bunch of pictures of my son. Um, one thing he was recently helping with is he's been big into helping me do the laundry. Um, and here you can see a picture of him carrying our towels to the laundry room. Uh, and I'll go ahead and click on done. What it did now is it turned this into a PDF. And so now I have a PDF that contains this picture. Um, so also just kind of another, I could save it if I want. I'll go ahead and discard this for now. Um, but those are just a few things that I could do with the Office app. So not only do I get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but then you also get the power of Office Lens. And then you could also do all these mobile scenarios, whether it's working with PDFs, whether it's transferring files between your computer and your phone. Uh, they really bring a lot of richness and Microsoft has really thought when you're on the go with your mobile device, what are ways we can really optimize the experience beyond just the Word, Excel, PowerPoint uh, base experience? So if you're looking at the App Store and you're trying to decide, well, hey, do I download the individual apps or do I get the app or do I get the Office app? I would recommend getting the Office app. First, first off, you're gonna save a lot of space by getting the Office app. And then you get all this additional richness. Uh, you get lens and all these other good features that I just walked through uh, with you. So hopefully you find this helpful. If you were able to get the Office app and you're now, you feel like you're more productive, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. Button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics you want to see in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, well, hopefully uh, you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.